Yo, what up, my young king? It's your boy Prince O'Hare. So I'm back here with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And look, I'm outside. You see the nature, my skin going. Mm, my arms looking nice too. Yeah, I've been in the gym. But it's like now, it's like now. Okay? So what I'm gonna talk about in this video is how to text girls, and you guys gonna learn how to get girls on dates with you. You guys seen all my content. I approach, I approach, I approach, and I get mad girls' numbers. But what do you do after you get the number? That's the big question everyone wants to know. If you're new to the channel, I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I have mad infields, okay? And yo, if you're interested in coaching, link's in the description, okay? And check out my free book description. Get any woman you want, only six steps. So let's watch this whole video through. But guys, you know what the number one thing you can say to get any girl you want while you text her is, yo, smash the like button. Say now, but I'm like, yo, you wanna see some valuable text information. So let's jump in this video. First thing I wanna talk about is how to get her number, okay? When you get her number, just do this. You don't want to be asking girls for numbers like this. Boyfriend, your boyfriend. I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, you don't? Oh, you don't have a boyfriend? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, that's cool, yeah. So listen, um, I was wondering, can I have your number? <laughs> Okay, the way you ask for a number is like, yo, you literally just want to be like, yo, let me get your number. Yo, take down my number. That's why I say most of the time. And I usually put my number in the girl's phone. I say, take down your number so I can store my name in the phone. It's like, oh, beautiful Nigerian or Dan, Dan the man, okay? So store something funny so when you text them the next day, they remember you, okay? And then you don't want to be needy like, can I get your number? Can I get your number? Can I get your number? You don't want to be in her bubble. Can I get your number? Can I get your number? You want to be cool, calm about it. Just yo, take down my number, okay? And say have confidence and dominance while you say that. Oh, law one, when you text a girl, text her ASAP, as soon as possible, okay? Yo, when I was in school, right, back in the day in high school, guys used to be like, yo, wait three days before you text her so you don't look pressed or thirsty. That is the worst rule anyone can tell you. If you're waiting three days to text a girl, yo, you're not gonna get no girls, okay? So most of the time, most of the time, guys that watch my channel, they're day gaming or they're approaching girls or they're sliding DMs. So most girls, if they're good looking girls, they get approached constantly. So guys are constantly asking their number. So if you wait three days, yo, she might not even remember you. So usually when you take down a girl's number, Either you can store your number on her phone or you can be in your phone and text her your name right away. But you want to get the conversation going ASAP. Usually, I don't text girls at night that same night, but you can. If you're looking to smash girls the same night, you can text her while you're in the club and hopefully she might be able to leave with you if you text her because you're building up conversation, okay? You guys might be able to develop some inside jokes inside the club. But what I personally do is I wait till the next day, next morning, right after 12 o'clock and then be like, yo, hey, how was your night going, okay? I don't like to do the fancy like, hey, like, hey, my, my name is John. Uh, I saw you last night, you're looking hella cute. Um, I miss you, blah, 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 second now. But I like to just keep it simple, okay? And for you guys who think, hey, how's your night? Things is mad boring. You can ask her like, yo, hey, how was the hangover, okay? Even better, if you remember the conversation that you had with a girl, you can talk about that conversation. So like, I remember one time I approached a girl, she had like a flower on. So her face, her face looked like the Snapchat filter. So how I approached her was like, yo, you look like the Snapchat filter. So I text her the next morning, hey, how's that Snapchat filter going, okay? So this avoids you saying hi, and this avoids keeping a conversation that makes conversation fun already, okay? And also, like, if a girl, like, most of my videos you guys see me, I'd be like, hey, wifey, hey, wifey, hey, wifey. So, like, I'll text a girl, like, hey, wifey, how you doing? So it's an inside joke, okay? This is my style of game, and you guys should all develop your own style of game. But you guys should be building your Instagram, make your Instagram look good, okay? So, the way I do it is, basically, I whenever I text a girl, it's like first two or three messages, I always get her Instagram. Because she one time, like girls, they might get approached by a bunch of guys, so they might not even remember who you are. So if she forgets who you are, that might be a bad situation. Like, I've texted countless girls before, and then they'd be like, oh, I thought you were this person. Like in Miami, they thought it was someone else, and then when I FaceTime, they're like, who the fuck are you? Like, 
that happens okay so you want to get that instagram as fast as possible if you're not really an instagram person you don't have to but it's just another barrier to help you out because most girls have instagram and depending on your age group some might have snapchat some might have instagram some might have facebook so just build your social media brand okay this always helps you want to be talking about her core value systems okay most people have five core value systems and any given person they ha they have one of these like they either really into their friends they're really early into their family they really they have a hobby that they're passionate about they really into work or they're really into school so you want to bite on one of these topics so personally i the way i would wear where i do most of my gaming i approach girls in a college campus so i like to talk about school a lot like where you go to school what's your major all that stuff like how's your homework so that's obvious that's a conversation already so then when i'm in dc i know most girls in dc are like in their professionals so i like to talk about work professionals like like what are you okay and then so if you guys are in school settings, talk about majors. If you guys are approaching girls at the mall, ask them about, they might be into clothes and all that stuff or why they're shopping for gifts. So figure out what her value system is and talk to her about it. If her value system is family, you guys can joke about it. Like, yo, like how's your, how big is your family? So the girl might say she has seven kids and then, or seven, seven brother, sister. You guys can send her a funny jeep with a bunch of kids, okay? And then next thing I want to talk about is like, yo, you want to mirror her text. Like, yo, if a girl is texting you every four hours, bro, Yo, you don't want to be texting one minute afterwards because you're going to look low value. You're going to look like you have nothing going on with your life. So she's texting every four hours, bro. Match her energy every four hours because these girls, they're matching guys' energy. So you better match her energy too, okay? So, and if she's texting you really fast, like, yo, you don't want to be texting her too fast, but match her energy. She texts you every one minute, text her every 10 minutes. Naturally, like, I like to text girls a little bit slower, like every 30 minutes, one hour, 40 minutes. I like to switch it up, okay? So I don't become predictable. So you don't really want to become predictable. So she don't know when you're gonna text her, okay? Match her any, that's the point I wanna talk about, okay? Next thing you wanna do is you wanna ask the girl out as fast as possible, okay? Normally when I ask girls out, the best thing to do is basically you can just be like, hey, you seem cool, how's your schedule like? And ask her she free Wednesday or Thursday, okay? Or free Thursday or Friday, give her two options, okay? Or I used to do how does your weekend look? But like sometimes a girl might give you one day and if you pick that one day, it's like, uh, you might not be free down, you're switching. So I give the girl incentives. Wednesday or Thursday, okay? And you wanna ask her out as soon as possible. Like, if a girl, like usually, if I approach a lot of girls, I get their number, I ask the girl out the same day because I wanna filter out who who's gonna hang out with me and who's gonna make me text her a bunch of times because I don't really wanna be texting girls that much. So, I like to see, if she's not willing to hang out or text with me, I'll, I'll cut her off and go find another girl. That's the abundance mindset right there. Cause you don't want to get into texting a girl a bunch of times she's not willing to hang out. Cause she's just taking your energy. She's taking your value. She's using you for attention. And what do you guys want to do? You guys want to hang out with a girl, potentially some of you guys want to get girlfriends. Some of you guys want to smash girls. Some of you guys want friends with benefits, but just texting her gets you farther away from your goal. You want to hang out with her. Now, where do you guys take the girl? So if you're under 21, so you can do ice cream days. You can do coffee days, walk in the park, don't do the movies. You can do the mall, but don't do the movies, okay? There's so many things you guys can do if you're under 21, but you wanna be taken on a date. And sometimes you do need cars, depending on where you live. I'm not gonna lie, having a car gets you way more girls. Like, one of the one of the shifts that helped me in game is like, yo, get in flyer and get in a car. That was one of the shifts in my game. And if you're over 21, like, yo, I personally like taking girls out for drinks because I don't like girls who don't be drink, don't drink like that because I like drinking. So. I like going out for drinks, but for guys who don't like going out for drinks, you can do coffee days. That's a little bit cheaper. Or you can still even do ice cream days. Like, girls think that's cute. But I don't recommend doing food dates because food adds up, and that's what every guy is doing, okay? And then if you guys aren't familiar with date ideas, go on Eventbrite. Like, Eventbrite, you can find, like, stuff. Like, in D.C., you can find Sip and Paint. You can find Jazz in the Garden. There's a bunch of different bites. Eventually, you can find Eventbrite to always take a girl out to, okay? So the next thing is, the reason I get every girl's Instagram or Snapchat depending on the age group, is because if some girls, when you ask them out, they're gonna flake. This is a phase where you know she's interested or not. Cause the system to get girls is a funnel. You get there, you approach them, you, they like you. You get their number, you take them on a date, then something happens, okay? So, this is why I get the Instagram. Cause some girls are gonna flake and you can still game them through Instagram. But the way you do this is like, yo, you have to post good pictures, like get good looking pictures, like iPhone X is out. Get the iPhone X or get a good camera, okay? Find friends of photographers. Cause like if you guys, most of my guys are from like eight, 18 to like 30. So like 
you guys are pretty young and guys are trying to be photographers so get photographers to take your pictures okay and then you want to post controversial stuff on your instagram or snapchat like yo i post stuff like this all the time and girls will slide in my dm and just laughing okay they slide in your dms to just laugh this means this is a way to start conversation about it okay because like if a girl is bad she's not going to be sliding into guys dm that she doesn't find attractive or somewhat cool or to talk about okay it's an opportunity that's all you want many opportunities possible okay and some of the stuff i posted like yo pineapples on pizza like that's very controversial so like girls are going to be willing to slide in dms that's the point of it make controversial posts and stuff like this like yo if gay marriage is legal and gay marriage is legal same-sex legal why isn't three-way marriage legal so girls will start sliding dm comment on that you want to post controversial stuff and use the questions thing okay so you're just building funnels to get them okay basically you post this photo and then some girls slide in your dms to start conversation about it and then you gain them, then you get your number, and then you try to get them a date. So all these stuff are just funnels, okay? Guys, do me a favor. Like, tell me which social media platform you use the most. And if you use social media games, so do you use Instagram for game, Snapchat for game, Tinder for game, okay? And another point I want to talk about is like, yo, when you're talking to these girls, you want to be using funny gifs, like, okay? Like, if the girl doesn't answer back, like, you can send her this gif right here. This is a funny gif, and she's going to answer it. Most of the time, when you do use gifs, it makes the conversation more entertaining because a lot of guys don't use gifs, okay? This is the end of the video. You guys like this kind of content. Yo, make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe, bro. And, yo, I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and, and Sunday. And I actually have a free ebook inscription. Get any woman you are only six step and a one-hour infield compilation for y'all that love infield. You new to the channel? Thank you. And every single one of y'all, y'all mean the world to me. I say this really at the end of my video, but y'all mean the world. Like, I remember when I was at zero subscribers. Now I'm at 700. By the time I post this video, I might be at eight, 900. But like, yo, y'all mean the world to me. Y'all leave comments. Y'all interact with me. Y'all always say good things. I don't even have that many haters right now. So like, every single one of y'all mean the world to me. I'm just growing. And thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all, okay? So make sure to watch the next video and come back the next day for more videos, okay?